What's going on YouTube? It's your boy I'm Nick coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a January pickup video. Basically, if you guys don't know what that is, I'm going to be showing you guys what I recently picked up this January. You know, I like to wear things that I like to style in. And if you guys do like this video and want to see more videos like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, man. I know I've been gone for about like two years, but you know, I'm going to start back on my YouTube. A lot of people be asking me, why don't I record? or why don't I post? I do record, but I just don't post because I feel like it's not the content that you guys be looking for. But now I'm just gonna do different things and put things out there that some YouTubers don't. So with that being said, if you guys do like this video and do wanna see more videos just like this one, I will be uploading more and I will be giving it to you guys, so. Yo! What? <laughs> <laughs> no homo, that was gay. I'm gonna cut that out. But anyways, uh, let's hop straight into the video. Coming in number one, we have this undercover groupy sweater. I came across this at a place called Performance ATL. I'm glad that I seen this because uh, that day when I had picked it up, I was looking for new stuff to add to my collection. Usually looking for stuff that's like black and white. If you guys do know me, all I do wear is basically black and white, but mostly black. But when I came across this, uh, they had it for a good price. And I decided, you know what, let's add something new to the collection, a different color, something that's different. So right now I have not wore it. I'm waiting for the right time to wear it. You know, it is cold out. Summer is on its, on its way. So I need to hurry up and get some wears out of this. Right now I'm just looking for a pair of shoes to pair with this piece. I really do love this piece. I love how it fits me. It gives me that kind of long look on me when I wear it. So I'm glad I came across this piece. Like I said, shout out to the boys at Performance. Next up, we have this rude oversized tee. I think I said that right, rude, rude, yes. If I did say it wrong, please correct me. I got this from Performance ATL, once again. Beautiful piece, love how it fits me oversized. It makes my neck look kind of big, but that's okay, man. You know, sometimes you gotta add new things to your collection and step out your comfort zone. So I feel like this was a good piece to add. You know, nothing really on the back, just a plain black tee. If I to try something new, I would say go with an oversized tee and throw on your boots. And that's like a good piece right there. Like just throw on some black jeans and call it a day. But yeah, my first rude piece. Glad that I added this to the collection. I wasn't really into rude. When I came across this piece, it was for a good price. You know, it was different, even though it was just black and white. Like do some justice for me in the future. Coming in at number three, we have this Calvin Klein Raz Simmons collab. I feel like this is something different. Like I said, stepping out of my comfort zone. Uh, it's like a beige, black, it's a lot of details. I love the way that this sweater fits me as well. Adding this to the collection is something different because usually I just like to get number nine in undercover. You guys don't know, Raz Simmons are discontinuing, meaning that they won't be selling any more stuff. So, you know, market is going up on Raz Simmons. So I'm glad that I was able to make a trade with the guy for this piece. This is something different, uh, a beige color adding to my collection, even though I do wear black a lot. So you will see me wear this a couple of times, not that many, but I'm glad I'm able to come across this Raz Simmons piece, especially that it's a Calvin Klein collab. So you know that it's not many of these that people have, but yeah. Next up is a Prada nylon jacket. Now, this is one of my favorite pieces that I have recently picked up in my jacket wear. This is different because I don't really have like a puffer jacket. If you look into it, it's not that much detail. You guys don't know that these jackets go for about like 1800, so I'm glad I was able to get this. Uh, you could wear it for when it's cold out and if you guys don't want to wear it during the winter, you can uh, take off the uh, hood. And I feel like, you know, that's a good thing because then I could get a couple wears out of this during summer when it's not too, too hot outside. So I feel like this product jacket would be a good fit for me. You guys do know that I do like black, so I'm gonna get a lot of wears out of this. Wore it a couple times already. So when it's cold out, I haven't been wearing it that much. But I do love this Prada nylon jacket. I'm glad I came across this. Uh, shout out to the boy 
that I got this from. I got it from the same guy that I got the rap samples from. So shout out to him, I'm glad that I came across this. Next up, we have something different. Uh, I'm glad I came across this brand because I have yet to get anything from this brand. And I know that a lot of people have this brand and I felt like, you know, too many people had it, so I didn't really want it. But this jacket stood out to me. It was a Carhartt jacket. This jacket actually fits over oversized on me and I like the way that it fits on me because I could wear my boots with these. This brown, it adds a different color to my collection. I currently have some shoes coming in to go with these. So I might make a video on the shoes that are coming in. I'm not sure yet, but I might. I feel like Carhartt is overrated. Okay, let me go ahead and pause it right now. I'm, I know y'all finna be like, well, if this shit overrated, why you got it? Because I can do that. You feel me? You can. So worry about yourself. Don't question me. Now we're going to get back into this video. You understand? All right. There you go. Worry about yourself. I like you. I got something for you. Go ahead and finish the video. You feel me? Just a little bit because I feel like too many people have Carhartt. So I try to stay away from it. I did get this from Performance and they had it for a good price. So I was able to pick it up the day for, you know, just something to add to my collection. If I just want to wear it with my slides, some slides or something. And it actually does keep me warm. I'm not sure if all Carhartt jackets do that, if they keep you guys warm or not. Y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Moving on to the bottom wear. Coming in number one, we're gonna start off with these 1017 Elite Sweatpants. They would come across these from my boy named Josh. You guys do know him, his name is Soldier V Troop. I'll put his Instagram right here on the screen because that is my homeboy, you know, I wanna shout my boy out. A lot of people are asking me, where do I get my pieces from in my DM? So the guy, his name is Josh, he made a trade. I've never seen these before. These are very, very comfortable. I love the way these are feel. I haven't seen nobody with these, so. This is a one-on-one -on -one thing, in my opinion, and I think nobody has. Here on the leg sleeve, it does say a leak on it. I'm glad I came across these. Beautiful pickup. You guys don't know, I do love wearing a leak. It's a leak bag right here. All I do wear is a leak. So I'm glad I came across these pants. Coming in number two, uh, they aren't pants, but they are shorts, but they're considered bottom wear. So we have some Rick Owen Champion Collab shorts, my first pair of Rick Owen shorts. So I'm glad that I came across this. Again, shout out to my boys at Performance. I got these from them for a good price. Uh, these are different. These are gonna be worn a lot during the summer. So shout out to my boys at Performance ATL for getting me these. This is something different that I added to my wardrobe. I'm glad that I came across Rick Owen shorts. I will be looking into buying some more Rick Owen shorts. A lot of wear out of them during the summer, just because it's gonna be hot outside, you know, in Atlanta. They fit, they fit long, they fit nice and long on me. Not to the point that they're super long, like some thug or whatever, but you know what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah. Next up, we have some Balenciaga pants. Before I get into these pants, I don't condone what Balenciaga does. You're not gonna get too much into that. I do like the clothes of Balenciaga and like the shoes and stuff. So came across some Balenciaga navy blue pants. These were my brother. He had something that he liked it in mind and he couldn't fit these no more. So he kept on asking me, yo bro, let's trade. Want these pants that you got? And I was like, I don't know, man, because the pants that I did have I barely got any wears out of them and I felt like I should have kept them, but that's okay. My first pair of Balenciaga pants, they are plain. Nobody would notice that these are Balenciaga pants, but I really don't care. I love the way that they fit on me. Uh, they're long, you know, adding some new things to my collection. I'm glad that I was able to pick up these Balenciaga pants from my brother. Shout out to his. Nah, he don't get no shout out, bro. No free promo for you, bro. What's wrong with you, man? I do like these pants. I love how they fit on me. Uh, it's not too much to say about these. They're plain. And yeah. So that is it for the pants. Now we're finna move on to the shoes. Starting off with the first pair of shoes, we have some Marnie slides. Just recently got these a couple of days ago. So I'm glad that I came across these. Uh, I felt like I needed some more slides. My brother had a pair. He was not letting those go. I really wanted them, but able to get me a pair in a size 44 
they fit nice they're comfortable something different like i said a lot of streetwear people do have these but mostly i have only seen people with the purple one as well just pick up the black ones i'm looking forward to picking up the orange pair but i'm not too sure yet because i don't have anything to wear the orange pair i usually only pick up things that um, i know that i can wear in my wardrobe with so i feel like these were a good pickup next up we have some rick doc martens i wanted these for so so long guys i'm brand new wasn't able to get them for a steal. Everybody was basically selling them for resale price. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just buy a brand new pair. A lot of people aren't into Doc Martens. They fit perfect, they fit nice. Uh, we'll be styling these a lot. We'll be looking forward to getting a lot of wears by these. Add some more boots to my collection. Next up, these are my favorite pair of shoes I've been wanting for the longest. Like, I cannot stress you guys enough. Like, these are some shoes that I talk to my brother a lot about. When I say you guys, I've been wanting these boots for a long, long time. We have the Rick Owen Geo Baskets. But not just the Rick Owen Geo Baskets. The Jumbo Laces pair. I'm glad that I was able to come across these. These are my favorite pair of shoes now in my collection. But I get a lot of wears out of these. Like, they're gonna get dirty. Uh, shout out to Grail. Was able to pick these up on Grail. Got the Rick on on the bottom. You got the Rick on guy on the tongue. Love these shoes, these are my favorite shoes, and you will be seeing me wear these a lot. Coming up next, and for last, we have these Balenciaga Croc boots. These are my second favorite shoe. Shout out to Grail, I'm able to get a pair of these and another pair. I was able to pick up two pairs of Balenciaga Croc boots from Grail. A couple people have seen me wear these boots. As you can watch videos, people saying, size down, size down. I should've just got a 44. It is what it is, you know, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna have to just stick my foot in there. I might sell these and then size up to size 44 because I'm not gonna be able to wear these for too long. Let's see, I'm glad I got the black pair because I can wear these with anything that I want. You don't see a lot of people with these on, so I felt like it was different. Yeah, that's pretty much it for these boots. I love these boots. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys' favorite streetwear designer brand is. If you guys do like this video and want to see more videos like this one, like, comment, and subscribe. I will be uploading more. It's your boy, I am Nick. I'm out. No, I don't like how I did that one. Hold up. It's your boy, I am Nick. No, 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 no. It's your boy, I am Nick. And I'm out. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. I will be uploading more for your fine self across this phone. All right, bro, I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. Shannon, bro. All right, bro. But if you guys did fuck with the video and want to see more videos like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Let me know what you guys' favorite brand was or what you guys' favorite brand is. Uh, if you guys want to see me doing unboxing videos on things that I recently do pick up, so once when it gets here, I record for you guys. Just let me know. And that's all. It's your boy, I'm Nick, and I'm out. So, currently leaving Starbucks, man. Wasn't able to record. I was going to talk to you guys for a bit, but... They were playing copyright music. Man, I ain't finna get copyright. Try boy stick I am. Fuck. I got a package that came in today. Ugh. Got a package that came in today. So when I get home, we'll open that for you guys. You know, I got me a little frappuccino. You know, so I'm slight. But. Right now, we're gonna go ahead, head to school, man. Don't worry about what school I go to, bro. Just know I'm in college, all right? Y'all niggas be weird, you feel me? But yeah, I'll pick up the camera when I do something later. Hopefully, I might hit Performer ATL and see what they got, trade with them. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all boys later.
pink ones. You like them? I guess a refund. He's in it. They're not it. How many times more? Shit, they look worn a couple times. You don't think these it? What y'all think? I think they it. Shit. Oh! Shit, that shit stank. Smell it? Oh! Should I just sell them? What you think? No, I think she needs some clothes, though. Isn't that tripping? Hey. Nobody? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why you bought them. Huh? You bet that shit don't go. <laughs> it don't go? It do go. Funny, bro. <laughs> That's why you bought them damn, damn hard, bro. That shit go with the damn shirt, huh? Hell yeah. Let's see what you did there. Yeah. Okay. Look at the collection, man. Now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Cause those are fucked. Like, nobody has those. Damn. Look at the front, bro. Like, what's up, bro? You gonna do me like that? As you guys just seen, I picked up another pair of Mahara's. I don't know which Mahara's they are, but they're fine. I'm glad I was able to pick them up. So right now, I'm gonna finish editing part of this video. Uh, I'm gonna be adding a vlog, a little mini vlog into this video as well, just because I feel like, why not? I'm gonna be hitting Performa. I'm gonna take the Mahara's up there, the ones I just got, just to get a quote on them. Uh, see if I can sell them for more than I paid. If I can, then I will sell them. And I'll just buy another pair of Mahara's because I feel like those are worn too much. Um, not to the condition where I like them. Yeah. So I'm going to catch you guys in a few. So guys, I have made it to Performa. My camera died. I thought I charged it, man, but I didn't. I am vlogging off my phone, but let's see if we can work some deals with my boy. And yeah, I ain't going for no low balls. No, I'm just playing, boy. But finna see what they offer me on the Maharas. Got a couple shoes in the back that my brother's trying to sell or get some store credit for. So let's see what they talking about, man. Yeah. 
players, man. Yeah, so guys, I did record in the store, but they were playing music that was copyrighted, so I got to talk over. So they had some Rick Sweats right here. Uh, they had a couple pair I felt that were fire. They had some Balenciaga sweatpants. Not my type though, because they were taxing. Not gonna lie, ask for one band for some sweats. I'm passing, you feel me? But went back over, had some spider. I don't really mess with spider. Looked at the palm, I already have a pair of palm. They didn't really have much. So guys, I was able to work a deal with them. Got store credit for all the items I brought in. They had some Balenciaga slides. I'm gonna show y'all boys when I get back to the crib. I'm heading back to the crib now. Some of y'all across the screen right now do not take showers. So please take a shower, man. Man, I ain't even gonna say too much. I'm gonna get back to y'all boys when I get them. Yes, sir. So guys, I just got home. So right now, I'm finna take my brother his stuff. You guys wanna see what I got, man? I got some Balenciaga fur slides. Let me turn it up. Uh, let me see. Hold on, man. Gotta make sure they're authentic, man. Isn't that right? Are they authentic? All right. So, these are slides right here. My brother got a couple things in his bag right here. So, they take him and stuff. He's supposed to be giving me my money. So, I'm gonna come down here and get my money. I'm oh, sure. Yo. Yo. I got your your stuff. Like my shit. What oh, I got going on over here? Oh, a starship. Oh, wait, hold on. What do you think with these? Hey bro, like, what's up with these? Like, you trying to, huh? Nah. None. Nah, nah. All right. Sam. All right. So the boys, what you got? What you got, Tony? Sam, you had to go big BB on the shorts. Ooh, the cover on top. You did too hard. What is it right here? Uh, cover, motherfucker. Undercover? Yeah, yeah. That's how you feeling? Yeah, yeah. We got what else you got? We got the capital right here on the ass. <laughs> Sam, Sam. I like watching motherfuckers. Who them boys is? Yo. Big performer. Uh, Sam. Ooh. Yeah. You got that money, though? What are you talking about? What you mean what I'm talking about? I'm mean, bro. <clears throat> I need um, that money. Oh, you know money, bro. You just got the scam. Fuck out my room, nigga. Me, I got scammed. Got scammed, nigga. Fuck with this nigga. Got scammed. Alright, you funny, bro. Alright, bro. Dab me up. That was funny. Nah, bro. You got scammed, bro. Like I said, get out. Nobody care about you. Nobody care about you. Bro. Nobody care about this YouTube video. Bro, who the fuck is this nigga? So I can't get my money, bro? I already told you what it was, bro. You got scammed, bro. Go ahead and get up out of this motherfucker. Then you just gonna let him scare me like that, bro? Bro, this nigga right here, I'm all sitting in the mall, bro. Yeah, bro, go ahead. Close my door, hurry up. Alright, bro, I'm done recording. Can I get the money? Hey, bro, I'm done recording. Can I get the money? Turn this off, bro. Turn this off.